Hi hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and I'm not going to complain about the weather anymore because I've kept the window open a little bit. I'm filming this at 8.30 so there's no like natural light interfering with the video and that's the reason I kept the window open but there could be a little bit of echo. Let's excuse that. Anyways, that's a big intro. That's not what the point of this video is about. The video today is all about lipsticks that have different undertones that are a little bit more unique and not very dupable. At least you can't find a lot of shades that are similar to this. There could be a couple of shades that are similar here and there even from the swatches itself uh, but they are like a, there's a shade shift it's a little bit of a different undertone it's deeper so those are the shades i'm going to be talking to you guys about i have done a video like this uh, all about lipsticks that are not dupable and those are a little bit more unique back in the day i'll link it right here i'm pretty sure i did find dupes for most of that eventually but this one i haven't quite found it they are a little bit out of the box a little bit of different shades not your very um nude nude kind of shades you know there are a little bit of pink dusty mauve so those are the shades you would majorly see in this video anyways as the time progresses i do get a little bit chatty but let's get started the first one I'm going to be talking about is the Cuffs and Lashes Liquid Lipstick in the shade uh, Liquid Gloss in the shade Multiverse. This one is like MAC topped with brandy in a glossy form and it's something that not a lot of brands have done like this particular shade in a glossy formula. I feel like it's very wearable as well with a full face of makeup on of course and this is how the shade looks like. Now the next shade we have is uh, from Faces Canada. This one is in the shade Coco Rouge. Now this is a really nice brown shade with a little bit of like cooler undertones to it like a little bit of like a great undertone and this looks so nice it's a very unique shade i tried to find a dupe for this and i couldn't and it's not something that you can't really wear as well and this would suit so many different skin tones even if you are a couple of shades deeper to my skin tone it will look really good on you and i really like the formula of these faces uh, lipstick they are very comfortable on the lips the next one we have is from Faces again. This one is in the shade Russet Allure. Now this one is like a brown shade with a little bit of red mauve hints to it. It's very beautiful on the lips. Would suit a lot of different skin tones again. Like even if you are from like light to medium to tan skin tones, you can definitely pull this off. I love this shade. It's not that unique per se, but I just wanted to include that as well. Like I, I couldn't find something that's similar to that in my collection. The next one we have is the Mask Lip Crayon. This one is in the shade Girl Power. This is not so much like unique, like it's like a very weird shade or a different shade. So it has a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange hints to it. So it makes it a very wearable shade, but a beautiful shade. The formula of this is very long wearing and it's pigmented as well. I mean, it is a little bit rigid, the lip crayon itself, but it looks beautiful. And every single time I wear this in my video, I always get asked like, what is that on your lips? beautiful shade it's usually this and i couldn't find anything in my collection that's quite similar to this one next one we have is from swiss beauty this one is a lipstick in the shade coffee this is a true brown shade okay it's kind of like a warm brown shade it has like that greenish hint to it like a greenish brown shade and it's something again that i did not find uh, a lot of lipsticks that were similar to this particular shade and that's the reason I decided to include this. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It can be a little bit too bold for a lot of people and uh, not something that I would ideally recommend you wear without makeup. So yeah. Now the next one we have is from Inside Cosmetics and this one is in the shade Jawbreaker. I just picked this one up in a whim and I really love this shade. It's like a dusty purple shade looks really nice with like mauve toned looks if you have like a pink top or something like that it just goes very well hand in hand uh, with these color combinations it looks really good just keep in mind that this lipstick formula it fades away if you like slurp something from a spoon or even like sip sip something with a straw or just like drink anything it just fades away from the center so just be prepared for that i don't want it to be embarrassing for you the next one we have is a Kiro Beauty uh, Lush Moist Matte Lipstick. This one is in the shade Lunar Berry. Uh, when I swatched this initially, like when I did that dedicated review video itself, I mentioned to you guys that uh, this lipstick shade is very different. It is a little bit of a cool toned purple shade, not something that I can find quite often in my collection. And so I thought I must let you guys know about this. If you wanted to try some lipstick that is a little bit out of the box, you can definitely try this. I love the formula of these lipsticks. Next 
shade we have is a Swiss Beauty lipstick in the shade Dark Brown. This is a brown shade with like dusty purple mauve hints to it. Very unique, very different, something that maybe a lot of you guys might not like but if you are someone who's on a hunt for these kind of shades you can definitely look into this it's extremely like cool toned and great the next one we have is one of my personal favorites this one is the swiss beauty lip crayon in the shade coffee it's not your usual brown shade this has a little more of a deeper plum undertones to it it's not as cool toned as the previous shade that i showed you that is dark brown again from swiss beauty so this one is the previous shade and this is the shade uh, coffee that i have on my lips right now this shade is so amazing like if you had to pick up one from this video it definitely has to be this you will love it trust me on that Next one we have the Chambord liquid lipstick in the shade number 404. This is like a purplish pink shade. It has a lot of purple hints to it and it can be a little bit bright um, depending on your preference of course and this does take a little bit of a time to dry down completely on your lips. Next up we have the Insight lipstick in the shade Shady. I waited for so long to get my hands on this. This is a beautiful brown shade like a warm toned brown and it's it is quite similar to the swiss beauty lipstick in the shade coffee but um this one is a little bit deeper just that that is the only difference that you uh, can find with both the shades so this is swiss beauty and this one is inside the next one we have is the maybelline lipstick in the shade muted taupe this is the only shade from this entire range that i liked when even when i reviewed it it's a it's not so much a taupe shade it's more like a red with a little warmer undertone to it but i really love this shade and i try to find shades that are similar to this one in my collection and i couldn't so it looks so common but it's not and that's what i really like about this shade and it's very wearable so if all of this were like a little out of the box for you i have something that could be a little bit more wearable for a majority of people so yeah i really like this and this is the only one that was quite pigmented as well from that entire range so the next one i have is a sugar x wonder woman lipstick in the shade 09 justice i'm not sure if they still have this sugar has a reputation of discontinuing some of the best shades i really can't even describe this particular shade it is that amazing let me know if you guys have picked this one up on my recommendation because i have talked about this particular shade in quite a few videos of mine so let me know in the comment section down below but what a beautiful shade this one is love it so i will try my best however to describe it okay so it seems to me like a mauve shade like a deep mauve shade with subtle like brown purple hints to it it's so beautiful just so beautiful mm. love it love it so i did try to swatch a couple of the other shades that could be in your opinion similar but like from the swatch so this one is the sugar lipstick this one is a swiss beauty lipstick in the shade coffee you can see it's different and this one is the insight jawbreaker uh swiss beauty and um inside jawbreaker they look similar like the coffee shade but it's quite different like they are of a similar color family but inside jawbreaker is a little bit deeper next one i have is the just herbs lipstick in the shade top nipa so this one is a very cool toned brown shade would serve as a nude shade for people of my skin tones and deeper so it's a little bit sheeny doesn't look that good without makeup and can wash you out just keep that in mind it's very cool too the next one we have is the Bellora liquid lipstick in the shade Nude Mystery. Now this is not like an exact like very warm toned nude shade but not is it a very cool toned shade. It has a balance of both and that's what I feel like makes this shade completely unique and a very different shade and a standout shade in my collection. So I think this shade would suit people up to medium tan skin tones and this is something I have tried to wear without makeup. It doesn't really wash me out completely but I do prefer wearing like a little bit of makeup with this particular shade. So the next shade that we have is Sugar Bellatrix. I am thinking that Sugar has gone ahead and discontinued this because I can't find this in stock anywhere. But let's just hope. Let's just pray that that's not the case. I have a dupe for this, but I feel like the dupe is a little bit more expensive than this itself. It's a dusty mauve kind of a shade. Very beautiful shade. It's, this is one of my favorite shades and I have recommended this time and time again. I love the pigmentation, the color selection. This would suit all skin tones. The lasting part is pretty decent. It doesn't really dry your lips out and i really like this shade 
so oh what's with the hair does this happen to anyone else like with straight hair what the hell is this like what so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video you saw the swatches of everything i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped you pick out some different shades i hope i hope there's a lot of hoping but i'm really really like keeping my fingers crossed and wishing that none of these are discontinued in the future so yeah that's that anyways let me know in the comment section down below what are the lipstick shades that you have that you feel like have different undertones very beautiful and you think i should definitely try it out because on your recommendation i have picked out some amazing shades and i still am looking out for something that's a little bit different so let me know in the comment section down below and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye